All right, I think we're ready to get started here. Welcome to the stream. I'm Neozar. This is my uh, FTL world record win streak. We are up to 95 after our uh, pretty difficult, but still decent Rock A run. I was never too in danger, but definitely uh, played a little on the edge. And then we got Mantis A for the next one, so it's a solid ship. It's like right about in the middle of the pack, I'd say. I'd put it on the uh, above average side, but like probably pretty low down on it. I'm not really sure, honestly. It might be higher up. It's just like, you know, efficiency. It's not flashy. You know, two-man teleporter, a basic laser, small bomb, but it's like... Covers everything you need, really. Three Mantis and an NG, nice full crew. Janky layout that messes you up sometimes. You know, augment to sell. Pretty solid things overall. Um, all right. Let's come up with something on the fly here. Um, the Aviary, why not? To a dove, that's appropriate for a mantis, right? A dove, a pigeon, thrush, and an ostrich. I believe I spelled that correctly. Um, all right. Seems like wildly inappropriate names. Hard mode, advanced content, you know, and I never really turn them off, but I always check to make sure they're on. Alright, let's start it up. Alright, so first things first, shuffle the crew around. Um, so we're going to keep one Mantis in piloting and put the other two right into the teleporter and the NG's going to go on engines. Um, not because of their names, but because it lets him be mobile about the ship. Because you don't want him repairing stuff, so you don't have to swap the pilot out. And then this lets you have, uh, actually, you know what, I think, actually, uh, weapons is probably better. Because, uh, I guess more often, I mean, it really depends on the fight, but more often if it's gonna, like, the engines doesn't, unless you're trying to run, um, or a combat runs shooting at you immediately, like, you can have a few seconds to get to the engines at least, versus the weapons, it's like you want someone in there the full time if that's what you're trying to do, and it's small enough ship. Alright, nice late exit here, seems well connected. All right, yeah, a little bit of a funny start to it, but otherwise, nice solid sector layout looks like. Only the one nebula jump, but that's fine. All right, that's nice to see. So we'll go up this way, because this connects nicely. It's one of those ones where I, I expected it to connect a lot worse than it does. It looks kind of open, but there's a lot of nice connections here. Uh, 
Um, all right, anything else we need to do? So it's like, overall, the thing with the ship that makes it totally solid is it just gives you all the tools to deal with like whatever ships you run into. And you can crew kill from the beginning, so you have like a, a build path, and you don't have anything like weighing you down ship-wise, um, like a bad system or something, which it like has value over no system in the early game still, but like late game can make you bad, like Fed C stuff. Um, even like Mantis B, like, you know, drone control's all right, but with a boarding ship, I feel like it's less effective. So it's nice to be able to do the hacking mind control, or not hacking mind control, hacking uh, cloaking stuff. Um, although, I mean, you know, you can build whatever you want most rounds, honestly. All right, let's just get it going. Hey, Jaxit. How goes my day? My day goes pretty well. Um, I've been up a bit longer. I guess I get up at around like 9.30. Um, but I stay up rather late. <laughs> Let's see. So we're going to attack the rebels. Let's always attack the rebels. Combat drone. Missile. Um, I think it has to be a Lido. Oh, that could be wrong in that. So then they have clone bay. Kind of annoying ship here because it can definitely hurt us in a few ways. Um, it's like taking out the missiles is probably the number one priority. They probably have three crew, so like it'll take us a little while to kill them here. So important is shields just to start them running around. They shouldn't have any other drones, I don't think. They can have three drone power, but I don't know if they can have two drones. I don't know if they can have a repair bot or not. Uh, they don't have one, that's good. Oh, they only have two crew, actually, because these can see... Or wait, no, is that because I ran into drone control? They might only have two crew. Um, which would be great. It'll be way easier to kill. Like, we might be just kill them off then and bomb the uh, clone bay. Which case I want to switch him to evasion, I think, because this is going to fire off in time either way. Yeah, so that's just a Lido, so that's good at least that it'll just be the uh, 10 damage. 10 damage, 1 damage. <laughs> I don't know why I'm multiplying it by 10 in my head all of a sudden. That would be ridiculous. Mostly just keeping an eye on this combat drone. got confused with how they're running around. Um, all right, well, they're just going to kill him fast enough at this point. Like, it sucks that this is probably going to hit me a third time. Um, but, like, I can't repair this and fire it in time. So just kill him quick. Two mantis can take down the third person fine. Um, I possibly would have bombed the weapons instead if I realized that but not necessarily. All right, so that's it though. Oh, come on. We gotta, oh, we gotta wait for the thing to end. Like obviously shields right as the, uh, well, I guess stay here until the thing hits. There we go. Well, that's good. At least we got a really good reward for it. Um, then we steal the supplies also and possibly take hull damage. Yeah, two damage, that's fine. Yeah. All right, well, at least they didn't take our shields down until um, we were like all set here. The fight was ending. All right, where's, the, where's that breach? It's a little annoying not having sensors. Over 
and weapons. The NG found it. Alright. So, six damage is quite a bit for the first jump. I mean, it's not terrible, but... You know, two from the event. But it's not horrible. Um, and we got a great reward. That's a bunch of scrap. So definitely a lot of value in finding a store now, because, like, just selling both of these is a bunch of scrap. Gets us our shields, plus some. Alright, so I didn't save my crew position, so I'm going to remember to do that this time. Alright. Store! Hey, there's a store right there. Um... Now that I'm like, yeah, great value, I kind of want to take like one more jump first. Like the odds of that one more jump killing us are crazy low. That's last words, I guess, right? Um, and like by selling all that stuff, you know, we might actually be able to buy something else that they have as well at the same time, possibly. All right, nice empty jump. So I'm gonna go to the store. Look at that, they got like weapons and stuff. 35, 25, so that's 72. Um, it's really tempting to buy the burst laser here. Honestly, Honestly it's kind of tempting to buy the heavy laser. It's such a good weapon for this kind of ship, for a three slot ship. Um, but this gives me like an answer to auto ships. Like, I mean, I have to get my weapons up by one. You know, I have to do shields before doing that. Um, but I can do this and still buy a shields buffer at least, so I'm not, like, that far off from getting it. And then I have a way, once I do, you know, a point in my weapons and then two points, I have three-shot volley um, to deal with, like, auto ships and stuff. And Zoltan shields better and everything. I mean, just, like, a solid weapon. And you can't count on finding another one for a while. Um, and like with getting that drone drop, if this was just from like a bunch of fights, it'd be less worthwhile, possibly, to delay shields that much because it's like using up so much of my sector's value, but that's mostly just like one fight. Um, but I'm going to buy the buffer because like right there with the Leto hitting shields and that combat drone, we would have taken that one damage. And if that was like the first shot of it, you know, we could have taken a bunch of damage that fight. So, all right, I think that's an okay choice. Like, it feels a little aggressive on one hand to me because we can't even use it quite yet. We need 40 scrap to get online still. And we need to get shields before that. And that would have been like a safer choice in a way. All right. Explored the asteroid field, except it's scrap. Very glad we didn't take damage there also. Just need 11 more for the shields. All right, so possible double rewards here. No med bay, no clone bay, um, a missile, so it'll probably take some damage. I'm gonna board into um, weapons, because that'll let me know if, if they have three crew, they'll be a crew member in weapons. Yeah, so there's just two crew, so that's good to know. Um, ooh, double mantis, that's kinda gross. Small bomb's not going to go off before we can, hopefully we can get into engines on time. Um, no, right? I'm not getting any bonus. Ah, so close. But that should be fine because we'll just die before it goes off again. A little bit closer on his health than I thought it was going to be right there. 22 scrap. And 15 scrap. All right. That's great. Alright, 
So there's our shields right there. Two very high scrap value fights. Sector one. Alright, so next thing is probably get the engines up, or not the engines, the uh, weapons up a point so we can use this or use these at the same time if we want for some reason. It's possible. Um, it's like we'll see about that store. There's a chance we'll visit it if we make a bunch of scrap again, but probably not right now. Um, so we got nothing else to sell. I don't really want to sell any of these unless it was for something like incredible, which I don't know what it'd be. Definitely not the small bomb. All right, this is great. They run from the start of this one, but it has uh, good rewards, especially for crew killing. All right, I'm nice. And a defense drone and basic lasers. It's too bad they're running, otherwise we could just train on them. Um, no med bay, no clone bay. So that's, this is good. Good ship to run into. Um, safe fight. Ooh, they do have a F repair bot, that's interesting. Um, so I'm mostly just like delaying their FTL here a little bit. And then I'm gonna board. Might as well just board with all of them, honestly. Uh, because by running through all the systems, they'll keep like switching which crew run to defend. And so since they have three crew, like they'll just keep running them all around. Um, and so they don't have anyone in piloting to be charging their FTL. Like these crew would get over there in time anyways, but. See, they, yeah, see it's like they pull someone in, they pull someone out. All right. Also with the Mantis, like you can get free hits on them pretty easily. Like this guy's at 80, you might be taking any damage. Um, just because of how you'll move through the room so much faster. They can come over. Um, I'm wondering now if I should train a little bit. Might not hurt. Do this, you know, make sure that they don't have other crew for sure, but I know they don't. Um, so just distract their crew and shields while they break systems for training levels. You get surrenders also. Um, although it's pretty unlikely we're gonna take a surrender from this ship. as much. <laughs> All right. Heavy laser. Wow. Um, cool. <laughs> so that can probably replace, I mean, right now it's just going to replace the basic because we can't, um, I mean, the, the burst because we can't use it. But then that'll possibly replace the basic laser um, because, I mean, until I get like low on bombs or something, it's like I, don't, I can't really get rid of the small bomb. There's so much value in that with the boarding ship. But the heavy is great, um, especially against like Zoltan shields and stuff because it's faster and does twice as much damage as the basic laser. 
definitely one of my favorite weapons to find, especially on gunships. Boarding ships, it's still good, but like, not quite as exciting. Um, just gonna try and figure out the rest of this layout real quick. Uh, so I could probably get five and that nebula in before the exit, but not like six otherwise. see how I can actually if I can actually do that or not with the jumps I have available. Um, don't think so actually. <laughs> I don't think I can actually get to five of these and this one in a way that that works. So I'll probably just skip the nebula then. Nebulas aren't quite as good anyways because they might have, they have better chance of having an auto ship. And I'll probably do one, two, then go to the store and possibly sell one of the weapons I have. Um, and you're there, there, or there, there, or something. All right, just make sure I can get two before that store, right? Oh yeah, definitely. All right. So this has been a great sector one so far. Asteroid field, that's a fun one. Ooh, with hacking. Um, definitely glad I have the uh, shields up here. All right, um, what are we doing? Really depends what they're hacking, what goes on here. Gonna run the heavy laser actually. It's faster and we'll have an like asteroids should be hitting them somewhat, so we can wait for that to hit their shields down and then hit their weapons. Or hacking, possibly. Alright, so you guys go there. Ah, hacking weapons, that's obnoxious. I mean, it's like their weapons, it really depends what goes on here with the timing the asteroids, because it could be like, you know, it works out really well for them and we take damage, or it was just like pretty safe fight for a while. That miss helps a lot. Right. Oh man, look, their hacking is destroyed by the asteroids. That's awesome. All right, yeah, this is working out for us pretty good. It's one of those fights where if you run into it at the beginning of the sector, it's so disgusting if you don't get really lucky with uh, like asteroids and stuff. Right. So, pretty safe at this point. <sighs> Miss. More training. <laughs> Waiting for the asteroids. It's nice not having to use a bomb. There we go. They're done for now. Ah, oh, their hacking got repaired. Oh no. There we go. 15 scrap. At least it's a decent reward for Sector 1. to tick up a little bit in case you know, I'm a little low on power now so sometimes if I have a longer fight I'll need to leave it off. Stresses are good but it's not the sector we're trying to take. All right, send an away party to investigate. Ooh, augment reverse ion field. Four fuel, drone part 16 scrap. That's a solid Sector 1 reward right there. Um, reverse Iron Field definitely has like value, like it's totally usable. Um, there's a decent chance we'll sell it because there's all kinds of stuff we want to buy, I'm sure. Not at this store, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, 
trying to think of what I want to do here. Like, it's probably worth still investing into my weapons. Like, I can generate enough scraps selling stuff probably, right? I mean, if I sell those, it's only 32. But it still leaves me 62 after buying weapons plus whatever else I make before another store. Just thinking, like, you know, buying hacking and stuff in my first available chance. Um, so I even if I get two weapon power, it's still actually not worth sliding this in because running both of these is better than this because it's faster and has the heavy laser in it. Um, yeah, I kind of think I want to do that. Like, that just makes it so the fights that cause this shit problems, like, don't really cause me nearly as many problems anymore. Um, I don't want to do it soon enough anyway. I don't need to, to spend power yet. And... Like, I think I'm just going to hold on to these for now, because, honestly, I don't really see myself spending that much scrap outside of a store. Um... So it's like, might as well get the value from them until I'm ready to sell them anyways. Alright, so we get... Yeah. So we'll just get the two more. Sun. Auto ship. No shields, but they've got cloaking, which is a little annoying. Iron blast. Doesn't matter. Well... Actually, I guess I do kind of want to do that. Um, I mean, I think I've cut. I guess I have quite a bit of time until the first uh, solar flare. <laughs> Dig dug. You can't think of any reason to keep the basic laser. Well, I think. I mean, right now, I think it's because I can do this over. Like I was just saying, the burst laser, post heavy laser. Um, like I probably will end up selling it fairly soon. Once I get weapons power up a little bit more and just put in the burst laser. Um, I mean, I could see an argument, I guess, for spamming the small bomb if I get hacking and just using up missiles, like, to have, like, quick fights and then switching it in or something. Um, but I'd hopefully have, like, a better weapon by that point. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that does that. Um, I guess I do this. I don't have to wait for it. Yeah, I knew it was going to miss anyways. Alright, nice. No damage. Yeah, I guess I should have uh, prevented this stuff a little bit. I think about how bad the, like how far back this is. A lot of vents though, I might be okay. Let's get the cloaking out. Ah, oh, miss again, come on. All right, good. up before we jump. I don't trust you being in the med bay when I jump. Um, Alright, intervene to defend the outpost. Honestly, I should have just not cared that you were like slightly low on health, um, but that's fine. Alright, safe fight, right? So, perfect time to train. 
so let's see, let's make sure we get everyone where we want. Might as well just heal you up then if we're gonna train. Alright, make it look good. So yeah, they just got the heavy laser, so they can't get through two shields with that and the beam. Um, but we need to keep both up still. Alright, so heal auto fire. Got engines up. Can only have them on one because we need the oxygen, but that's okay. Alright. So let me just get the uh, cheat engine going. Man, look at that beam drone go. I feel like it's doing, like, making pentagrams or something. lasers so fast. Ah, uh, they were synced and now that's like off because of the training. Is there shields? Weapons? So that's awesome, that gets us a bunch more dodge. Um, oops. <laughs> I think that whole time we didn't like kill their beam drone once and the set first time I actually tried to shoot them, I kill it immediately. Classic FTL. Probably gonna miss for a while now, it's okay. I don't mind missing on a safe fight so much. I'll be missing now than later. All right, eight scrap and 17 scrap. All right, a bunch of bombs. Just raking it in. What a great first sector. Attack the rebels. Med bay. That's the thing. It's like we have the small bomb, but I'm not even using it because this is a small bomb. I mean, small bomb where two weapons need to hit, but it doesn't cost a missile. But it kind of serves the same uh, function for uh, boarding support. Probably should have put my crew back where they're supposed to be get the start but then also we can mess with their evasion by just running around for a moment um. just might as well run you over too Got the dodges going on. There we go. Oh, there you go. Fire, so we don't mess with that. They can deal with the fires for a while, that's fine. Uh, why don't you come over and join us? My pilot's like just as trained, obviously just like stole all the killing blows on the one other time you boarded. Alright, so you just go in another room. Steal them. Hey, eight scrap, nice. It's like the worst part about that event. It's like it's definitely the best to just steal them, but often the rewards, if you get the good rewards, it's still like pretty minimal. 
But, yeah, whatever. Alright, so we got 87 scrap. We still have stuff to sell. Hopefully we'll have some good stores coming up. Alright, um, so we're going to go this way because this is two stores instead of one to two. And then we get an option of green next sector, which is nice. Um, and then like more options continued from there. So we don't want Uncharted, which that will definitely be. Um, neither of these are like great, um, either in terms of scrap value or like what this ship wants to deal with. I mean, not the worst. And we got pretty good stuff so far. Quest. What quest was that? How do I... It's like, how do you get these quests and you just immediately forget what they are? Um... Did we get a quest from that Federation when we got the free stuff? Was that also getting us a quest? Possibly. If it is, then that might be worth visiting. Can't think of what else it might be. So I'll probably go down there. Um, really tempted to buy a power bar, but I don't think I deserve it yet. <laughs> so I'll go down this way. This is such a funny little, like, obviously we're not going to any of these beacons. This little, like, dingus going on over here. Um, split's kind of funny over here, too, but it's not horrible, at least. If the curve is over here, it'll be a pretty late exit, too. But yeah, so I think we'll, like, wrap around. See as many beacons as we can. Hey, son. Son with borders and no rewards. My favorite. I think it's everyone's favorite, actually. Hey, and we got two rocks for borders. At least we still get the fast FTL charge. You're still in their kills again, aren't you? You're trying to. Maybe you go heal your one point. Um, is it worth jumping with them damaged and having to wait for them to heal? Or should I risk taking damage from the fire? Um, I mean, like, worst case scenario here is, like, I take, like, one damage. I, I mean, I guess two if there's some fire that goes insane, like the teleporter. Um, worst case scenario, if I jump with them damaged and it's, like, it slows down the fight a bunch... I take like at least two damage, I guess, maybe if like an Artemis fires, you know. So I kind of feel like it actually might be worth just eating the first flare because there's a chance we take zero damage from it. Yeah, take one, oh, one damage right into piloting. That's a fun one. At least defense easy. So you gotta stay close. You're gonna get topped off. Crew is causing me a lot of problems with these suns, keeping their health perfect. Alright, so that's pretty good. Get out of there. Alright, nice safe fight. Um, doors, but level one. Heavy ion, pretty exciting thing. Um, I guess, see how many crew they have. Alright, two crew, that's great. Because it's going to be two rocks, I'd assume. I don't know what else they'd have on a rock scout. Um, 
I guess I still kind of want to crew train them more. I don't really need to fire these at all, do I? Um, I guess if I want to, like, distract them, that's not really going to help. Just send you over. Let you passively train for why not. You go shields. Rocks are so slow. <laughs> careful about that, he's gonna kill him really soon. Right, I can fix that by doing this. I guess this also like technically gets me like surrender offers possibly which have value. I guess I was thinking about it more for crew training at this moment, but there's definitely value in that too. But I'm not gonna go crazy like shooting him after this to try and get a surrender. Eighteen scrap. would fetch a higher price if you didn't break all the systems. That's definitely true. Unless, you know, maybe that, like, distressed look is in. You know, people like their ships a little, little scuffed up, makes them look cool, like they've been fighting. You know, like my, uh, my ship to have breaches. Alright, Federation outpost under fire for multiple rebel ships. Um... So we swoop in to taking down the wing leader. All right, we're not fighting the small ship. We're taking down the wing leader. We got the elite assault event here. Clone Bay, they got a Vulcan, it looks like, and a basic laser. Jeez, they're serious. Um, so we gotta use a small bomb here, obviously. But they also have a ASB helping us out. So that's a big, big help. Oh man, this event would be <laughs> If they got lucky with their dodge against ASB and you aren't prepared here, this would be a... Don't let that spun up against you this early in the game. Um, so it's like, I'm a little torn because on one hand... I don't really think I'm threatened by the Vulcan in time. Like, I think I can just hit their clone by down. Especially with the ASP coming. I feel like it needs to be spun up enough to like really hit me. Alright, there we go. I guess I wasn't thinking about that. That could have killed, if that hit the room these mantis were in, that could have killed them. That's a little scary. Something I have to like be aware of thinking about <laughs> against an uh, allied ASP. Like, I saw it was hitting piloting, so there's a chance I would have realized it before I hit whatever room they were in. Um, but it just, like, wasn't something I was thinking about in advance, like, whatsoever. Alright. 
Karis. <laughs> I would have been like, all right, I guess I'm doing a Zoltan boarding. <laughs> I guess would have been the solution there. Not really. Would have had one Mantis left at least. All right, so Karis is going to be my uh, engine's Zoltan. So that's great. I'm glad I didn't buy that power bar, obviously. I don't need it. It's Craigslist. Yeah, I think Craigslist is still a thing, at least in my, my area. Miss. <laughs> don't say miss. That makes me feel like you could hit me. Um, all right. Let's get out of here. I never like being around an ASB. Oh, I wish I had a rock on board. It's my favorite blue option in the game, I think. It's the uh, Furious Mantis. Who yells at the uh, pebbled man that he paints his ship with him. I love how like every sector also just has like a mantis ships hunting that that race, like just genocide against everyone all the time. At least that's how they present it, you know. I guess they're just fanatics in the mantis. Um, so they're gonna board over here. Their weapons aren't a threat, so we don't need to use bombs. Um, they do have the med bay, so I'll probably just let them board first and kill them over here, right? Where are they going? Uh, well, I guess we're gonna go fight my pilot. Can have my engines go punch you. Still bored. We'll fight probably a mantis and, a, and an NG, right? Yeah. There's a med bay. Alright, so that guy's done for. Start healing. Five fuel, all right. 21 scrap. Let's have a good fuel buffer, can give some away. It's been a pretty good rock sector so far. out real quick yeah unfortunately the curve is like right at the exit um, but we still get seven jumps I think before we can before we have to take it that's not bad like I'm just thinking about like if this is the store or something if that's bad because there's like less jumps that way it's like nice got a good cluster of them over here so we can just go up to this big jump um, so we haven't seen any stores yet this sector, and there should be two. All right, another fight, another safe fight. Getting lots of safe fights, it's nice. Um, all right, there should be like one crew coming over. Yeah, fight in the med bay, why not? I'll fight you in the med bay. Just shoot them so I don't have to punch them as long. Uh, I guess I should train my NG here. Not my NG. Uh, evasion train my uh, Zoltan. It's definitely a worthwhile training to do. And they'll be really fast on this fight. That guy over here must be like, oh no, it's taking my buddy a long time to get back here. This must not be good. And unfortunately for you, it is not good news. Almost drained up, close enough. 18 scrap. All right, so there's one store. Um, Cause there's also a chance of like, both stores were down here, which would suck. So that's good that we got one. Um, just 
trying to think about how I want to do my jumps now. Yeah, I mean, I can't really take any of these and get down to it without doing something inefficient. So yeah, I'll probably just do that. So I'll go to the store first, that's fine. I guess I gotta take that one before it, but whatever. Um, cloaking. A little early for it, but we got stuff going on. And like, we're not that far from, like, still buying hacking afterwards. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, if I don't buy it now and then I don't see it forever, I'm gonna really super regret it. And we don't need any of these. I mean, this, we could probably buy it and be greedy. Um, and like, I feel like I only want to build into mind control on a two person teleporter if I'm like desperate for help, which I am certainly not. So I think we just go ahead and buy cloaking now. It's not like there's any other like super pressing upgrade we need to do or buy fuel or whatever. Like, it's mostly just like we want to buy hacking and a battery and stuff. Um, so like honestly, we could probably like use these weapons the entire game if we had to. So yeah, I want to get that up. That's 25 scrap, some reactor, cheap stuff. Um, all right, so I can still sell, still sell things. I'm probably not going to still quite yet though. But if we sell the basic in this, that's 32. So that's 45 scrap. So that's most of the way to hacking right there. Um, and there's like a decent chance we won't even see the store this sector, the second one. So I think we're good with everything we want to do. Um, that's not true. Repair up a little bit more. All right. Um, another yeah, another safe fight. Um, but we're gonna want to take their weapons down all the same since we're at a uh, sun here. Actually, I guess it's going to O2 because I don't want um, I want them in two man things, so it's like they don't do weird hits like they do sometimes in the four man. But I don't want them in a room where they'll be getting like any evasion if they have uh, higher than level one piloting. All right, so that's ion down. than I should here with uh, multiple things. All right, no damage. That's great. Um, well, whatever, you can help put it out. That's fine. Spend it too, why not? Do I hear a fire? I always feel like, I'm never sure if I'm imagining it or not, the fire sounds. You can never hear them like clearly enough. Um, I feel like I have a fire somewhere. I thought so. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Definitely hearing fire sounds. This is not one of those times I'm imagining it. Where do I want to put this rock? It's hard to say. I 
Uh, so on one hand, it's like he's useful as like a second wave of boarders. On the other hand, he's also useful like in either weapons or shields um, because they're hard to vent. Fire might be out, but it's time to jump. Wow, man, these these fights are just like kind of ridiculous. Like everyone is just safe. Um, it's just been like kind of crazy. All right, so you go there. I guess I'll put you on shields for now. It's like, well, I could swap around all my training. I don't think it's worthwhile. It'd just be. Sent to the faraway shields to start. That's fine. No med bay or anything. You gotta finish your training. Right, yeah. So you go get the kill on him. And then what do you need? You need what? Two more? That's fine. Just train up the uh, train up pigeon here, and then finish off the fight. All right. Um. Okay. I guess we're immune to ion damage accidentally, right? So maybe we'll just keep them then. Um, I mean, it's like also we didn't have to sell them to buy cloaking, you know, we might not have to sell them to buy hacking later. Oh, there's a store here though, so we'll see. Not sure if I've ever actually had double reverse ion fields. Like, it's definitely kind of a cool thing. Can't imagine it's cool enough to pass a packing for though if it comes to that choice. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, much of anything is. So yeah, we get two jumps before that store, so this works out good. A new one, two, store, exit. Alright, uh, is an asteroid field. Alright, this is not a safe fight, of course. An asteroid field, and they've got the, the med bay. Oh, yeah, we have cloaking though, jeez. Yeah, and intruders on board. Where are they? In the they're, are they in the med bay already? Jeez. Two rocks. I kind of feel like I should just be killing them off first. That's nice. Um, I do a bit of damage to them, it's okay. So we'll probably hit their weapons again and then try and take out their med bay. Ooh, and their oxygen. Alright, we have to be careful. There's a chance we'll just shoot them down. Mostly just thinking about. Whatever. Honestly, I'll use a bomb because I don't super want to uh, do any more damage to them. But it's like we're gonna have to take out their med bay if we're gonna if we're gonna kill them. I think this is okay. I think I can do this fine. Yeah, just the two of them. Skin. All right. Doesn't give me a ton of scrap, but gives me uh, more power. Can avoid buying power bars forever. Just keep finding Zoltans all game. Uh, 
Oh, congrats, Pueblo. Yeah, I mean, most people's first victory is uneasy um, because it's a very difficult game with just endless things to learn. So don't let that, like, let you be less proud of it because it's definitely an achievement no matter what. Um, all right, what do I want? I guess I'll throw you on shield instead. I should probably get the rock trained on weapon so the NG can roam. More ideal. What ship did you win with? I always think it's interesting, like, how varied it is what ship people win with the first time. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to put you into weapons and start training right away. I can always swap the NG in if I feel like I really need the speed. Alright. Um, I think we are all set here. Get out of this asteroid field. And do another asteroid field. Man, rock sectors. We've seen two suns at least, two asteroid fields. Um, this one's not quite as bad, although they have a missile this time. But no burst laser two and no borders at the beginning and no med bay. So all those things help. But just same kind of ships over and over again, two rock crew. It's pretty common sector two to see a lot of the same ships because you won't see the more powerful versions yet. So their weapons are definitely down. That's good. Cloak, 90%. That's pretty good. Decent chances. All right. Cloak the Artemis. That was nice to see. Seventeen scrap. The Kestrel, yeah, that's the first ship. You have that one in the NG. Yeah, I mean, the Kestrel is definitely a good ship to beat it with first. You know, it's got solid weapons to start out. Um, I can't remember, remember. I think my first win may have been with the NGA, which I know a number of people do also. Some people have really weird ships they win with first. Um, I forget, there's one that really surprised. Someone like won with the NGB for the, that was like their first win or something. But yeah, I mean, it's like you can always look up how to how to get the ships if you want to skip it. It's also kind of fun, I think, you know, to go through and try and figure like some of them out on your own at least. Um, you know, there's so many different ways to like approach the game. All right, as fun as it is doing this in the reverse sign fields, I don't think I can justify keeping them both and not buying hacking right here. Hacking is just way too good. Um, it's like I'm slightly sad just because this is like funny because I've, you know, they just both fell in my lap. Sell the burst laser, right? That's 78. Ah, so close. Never should have bought you, I guess. Um, but yeah, I can't not sell these. Well, let me think about this for a second. How can I do my power? Because maybe I'll just sell all this. It's 54, so that's 107. Um, so that does leave me enough to buy weapons also, like a weapon bar. Right. And a sector for two, We've got hacking and cloaking already. Um, I think the thing with NGA, like, NGA is also a lot better on easy than it is on hard. Also, um, at least when I beat it originally, there was before Advanced Edition. So I feel like, you know, the, the balance of power was quite different then also. Um, but I think what helps that ship out for some new players, like it helped me out, was that like the Iron Blast 2, although it's like not ideal, you can get away with just like auto firing it at most ships and you'll eventually get shields down, especially when they have like lower evasion. So when it's like you're still learning how to like do volleys and stuff, it kind of like, helps out um 
also in a pre-flak world. That was helpful, I think. Things were very different in a lot of, in some ways they weren't that different, in other ways they were like very different before Advanced Edition. Um, Alright, yeah, I kind of want to do this right away. Because it's not like I'm going to like run into a store that I need to buy something at immediately anyways. And I don't want to lose my like full laser volley. I mean, I have plenty of bombs to spam, but still. So from here on out, really, we're looking for, I mean, we've got seven crew already also. You know, mostly looking for upgrades, a battery. You know, we can upgrade our weapons more through the run. If we, but like, if we don't, it's not the end of the world. Um, two scrap. Let's spend it all. Let's go for broke. Right, we got one more jump still. Search among the stores. All right, great. We didn't get the store. I didn't didn't want the store. Um. Well, we could hack their weapons. We could just try and cloak them. It's probably worth just trying to cloak them. Save the drone parts. this right away I might hit it like suboptimal for my volley no. I don't think it will yeah. um, all right nice my one worry was that it would just like take that down and leave the missile up then <laughs> get punished for doing a weird volley trying to shoot a missile that didn't really look like it was going to happen. Oop. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Oh, man. Jeez. Come on. So, probably take a damage now. I guess I should have been shooting their evasion and shields when, it was, when the weapon was down, when the uh, missile was down. Uh, to prevent this very situation from happening. I mean, it's not a big deal, it's just a little bit of damage, but not, you know, ideal for sure. I was going to shoot again also before we get cloaking up. Alright, now it's breached. So, two damage. That's alright. can live with it. Let me go heal. So all in all, I'd say, now that we're at the end of it, pretty good uh, first two sectors. <laughs> you know, got a heavy laser, burst laser one, cloaking, hacking, three more crew. All right, civilian sector, awesome. So, multiple stores, it's like what, two to three stores. Generally high scrap value sector, a lot of double reward chances. All right, this is kind of a funky one. Not too bad. There's like two sections. There's like this section, which you could entirely just do and not see this at all. And then, you know, there's this like other section that connects, but only there. But at least it connects there, not just through the exit. That's always annoying when it's like you have to go through the exit to get to a bunch of jumps. So, think about the future of this ship now. Um, definitely want to get some like power in general. We might want to get, you know, probably get engines up also. You know, we can build a little defensive since we're boarding ship. Might as well probably get like the fourth weapon power. It's not that expensive. Um, and this is like a pretty solid volley then. You know, against two shields, this is not ideal uh, without hacking helping it or something. Mostly I think I need more power first so we can like run our systems. Really want a battery would be most ideal. Yeah, that's a lot of fuel for one drone part. And we have a, a buffer in our drone parts right now, so that's super worthwhile. Makes it so we can like more freely give it away also. 
All right, about their specialty. Decline. Probably wouldn't be buying that now anyways. For the distress. What do you got? Destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. Thank you, pirates. Um, are they gonna board? Good question. All right, so I'll kill them on my ship first. They don't have a med bay. Um, I'm trying to think about what I want to. I have so many bombs. Though this isn't gonna actually take out any weapon power for them yet. Like if it hits, it's just gonna take out their flak that they're not even using. I mean, honestly, I can probably play it defensive. I'm just gonna hack their weapons, I think, to delay them and cloak and like kill their crew. Where are they? run and kill you really quick. Oops. Just the one crew. So that means they only have two more crew on their ship. So we should be able to kill them pretty quick. Probably should just board it over right away, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> Five percent evasion, one shield up with three shots. It's pretty good odds there. All right, because they'd have to hit us at least twice, and then the fight should be over. All right, nice. So this is looking nice, solid Mantis A run. Because um, it's, you know, it can definitely have rough runs. Usually it can still deal with it because it starts out with decent enough stuff. But I've had some, like, runs where it just, you just don't find what you need early on. So it's like you don't really have, like, weapons to deal with. You know, you just find a bunch of auto ships after that with, like, you know, you don't have the weapons to deal with them and get low scrap for a while. But usually you can uh, recover somehow. So I'm going to quick measure here, so I have an idea how many jumps I have. Um, ah, there's no more nebula, that's too bad, because I could take six and a nebula before the exit. So we'll just get six. Yeah, it's like I'm wondering if it's even worth trying to go over here. If we do, that's like the, we have to go directly this way, we have no options. Otherwise, it's kind of like... Well, let me see, though. Because I bet you these ones, can I even get... Yeah, it's like I can't even get enough jumps, so I actually have to, I have to do that if I want to get all six jumps, I realize. Um, if I don't want to dive... Which I probably could dive, I guess, this sector. Let's have cloaking, hacking, and I can get my engines up. We'll think about it. Um, I'm going to buy a weapon power, though. Or, uh power that I can use for anything, including weapons. Attack the pirate. Cloaking. Real weapons. Med bay. So I'll probably do the bomb to start out. 
Oh wow, that's a burst laser three. I thought it was a burst laser two. It's actually got a better it's a burst laser three, but so I'm gonna hack their weapons. Got plenty of hacking drones. us. Do this, and then hopefully it takes long enough that they, yep, the door resets. I could probably just kill them. All right. Nice double rewards. Hey, Papa Noel. Thanks for uh, coming by the stream. I think most of the people here probably really like FTL. And these these older games, you know, relatively older. Usually uh, the audience is pretty into the game at this point. But, you know, I guess not always. Big missile. Oh, we gotta be careful. This guy can really mess us up. Um, and they're running. So yeah, this is actually a, a deceptively tricky fight in some ways, I think. Um, what's gonna be the most efficient way for us to deal with them? Honestly, I might go for the, uh, I don't always do it. Um, I use this so we can deal with the super shield as it comes up in case we need to use the bomb. We might not need the bomb now. Um, so I might let this fire her and, and go with the cloak and you know, if we eat it, that's okay. But I kind of want to take care of these guys fast. So they don't run or like mess with the missile. I'm gonna do one of these good old fashioned med bay hacks. that it's, I guess I'll use a small bomb so this doesn't fire. Um, like their FTL is still charging because we're fighting and piloting, but I don't want to like fight them in the med bay or have to wait for them to break through the door since I can't depower it. So it's okay. All right, 21 scrap. So I still only had three crew. Instead of starting four crew and stuff like those things don't always work quite as efficiently. Um, all right, so we're going to that store, I guess. Um, let me think about it. because, fortunately, there's not like a really good. If there's a beacon like here that connects the exit, it'd be really good for diving. Like that might, I mean, it might get us. How many more? Let's see. It might get us one more jump. Which I don't love diving just for like one jump. I guess I could dive both of them, but I'm not going to do that, especially when I'm ahead so much. It just feels unnecessary. So we'll just go around. I'm kind of tempted to buy sensors here already at this point. Um, it's like, you know, sensors is not a necessary purchase, like, at all throughout the, uh, throughout the run, but... Or far enough ahead we can afford it and they're they are useful to have they give you information um you know as fights get a little more complicated it can be helpful knowing what like onboard drones they have and stuff and then i do like buying it for flagship if i can afford it because it's another system they can hack that doesn't do anything um there's another store but i'm not going there so it doesn't matter I'm just going up through here honestly i think i can afford it i'm gonna do it Definitely like a little bit of a greedy purchase. 
but that's okay. Let's see what's going on in my ship now. Um, all right, anything else? Nothing to sell. All right, I think that's good. Improves the viewer experience. Oh yeah, it's more exciting. I agree. That's true. Didn't think about that. It's like, you know, I can't make a compromise like that when it's critical for the run, but at this point I think it's okay. This is like a little bit of a scary ship. Um, the burst laser two and the basic laser, or is this a burst laser one? I'm not sure. Um, and the mini beam, but we're pretty, we have, we have things to work with here. That's not a good enough bribe. Clone bay, they're gonna board. Yeah, it's burst laser one. So that's a bunch of lasers going on. I'm definitely gonna hack their weapons so we can like manage their volley some. Um, I guess we don't need to charge you until that's charging. Let's see if we're boarding with just one crew. So they have three crew. That's good. Um, I don't have like a good roamer to kill people. I do want to keep my evasion out. You're so slow, but whatever. Can deal with that. Alright, so I'm gonna run the hack between the shots. Kinda wanna see what crew they have, I guess. Mantis and an NG. I'm trying to also think if it's more worth like it's probably more worth hitting their clone bay first. Um, right, Cause this won't hurt us. And then the mini beam fires at the same time as this, so that won't actually get through at all. Um, and this will only hurt us if all three hit. And we can cloak it. So it's like we're pretty safe from this for a while, actually. Mostly, um, I'm just waiting until uh, I can get the mantis out of piloting. You should be able to break through soon to fire the small bomb off. this. Oh, geez. So that's two so far. Phew. <laughs> I mean, we only had 80% chance because the, the Zoltan wasn't in position yet. So that's part of it. All right. Um, so we're going to destroy the ship and salvage it. Um, I mean, this gets you two jumps, which can be helpful. Oh, no, this just gets you one jump. Um, but it's like, you never know what jump that's going to get you. There was just that store, but I can't remember how the sector laid out, like if that would actually be helpful or not. We don't really need it at this moment, so. Oh, so I got to thank um, both Peeblo and Papa Noel for the follows in the last uh, little bit. I appreciate that. It's always exciting. I've been doing this for, for a couple months now. Um, I started my streak back like November or something. And then I started streaming it around, uh, I think it was around 66. So that's probably like end of January or February. And we just got the world record uh, a week or two ago now. So hopefully gonna get up to at least 100. You know, I mean, hopefully gonna get way past 100. Might as well just go on forever, right? But I feel like 100 is the next the next goal. Fortunately, we've gotten most of the bad ships out of the way on this fourth cycle already, so odds are pretty good. 
Um, whatever, you can run into sensors for a second. Let's see what they got going on over there first. Three crew, oh yeah, they have doors, which is annoying um, and also dangerous depending on their crew. For this crew, not so much because it's NG and humans. Um, this is really just the burst laser that's a problem at all. I think we can get away without using resources on this one. That's a little mission of ended my cloak early, but I don't think it'll matter. Yeah. Contact the civilian ship. Hey, thanks for the repair. It's always nice to be topped off. I do a random ship. Um, I do at the uh, my, my one twist on it is I do my random uh, right after finishing a run, so I always like know what I'm getting into the next time. Uh, but yeah, so I go through all the ships just in a random order, and at this point now I've gone through them all three times, and I'm on the fourth cycle, and I think this is like my uh, twelfth or so ship, so we're almost halfway through. Um, but leading up to the world record, I just randomed like almost every of the worst ships over <laughs> just in a row. Uh, so the only really bad ship left is Stealth C. Um, after that it's like Rock B, and like the Fed ships. Fed A and B, or I did Fed C. Um, so really not that many bad ships left in this cycle, so pretty optimistic. Suck particularly at weapons. Uh, that's just uh, your perception on that one. But, you know, sometimes those things do seem to happen where you're just like every time, you know. But then you start to notice it, and you just... Because it's like when you start to think those things, it's really easy to notice every time it happens and not, like, balance it out. It's like a really easy thing to fall into. Um... But also, you know, we all have our like little game superstitions we do. So if you know you're feeling it's not working for you, maybe try and find uh, someone else to go on weapons. All right. This is like an all right quest. Um, you know, we'll we'll do it if we it's convenient to run into it. We're not gonna like chase after it too much. Prove my reactor for four missiles and two drone parts. The missiles aren't a problem. The drone parts. I mean, it's economical, and we'll still have nine. Like, I like to be at 10, um, but 10's kind of, like, gives me a buffer. Um, and I'm going to be buying a reactor power, like, next sector at the beginning, if I don't get a battery immediately, so. Um, Zoltan homeworlds are rock-controlled. So, generally, Zoltan are actually, despite the green, they are very deadly sectors in general. Um... They have very threatening ships. Salt and shields can be really problematic because they slow down like the way you can deal with their ships with hacking and breaking their weapons. Um, so running them in like environmental hazards can be really bad, especially because they can have like offensive drones in an asteroid field with a salt and shield. Um, so they're definitely some of the deadlier ships in the game. However, we're decently outfitted to deal with them. Heavy laser is great against salt and shields because it's so fast. We have cloaking, which helps. Um, home worlds is extra nice since you can get the salt and shield. And then rock controlled aren't like great sectors for us. I mean, they're both two stores. Um, but I think this is a time I can't pass up the salt and home worlds. If it was just a regular Zoltan, it'd be a a lot closer of a decision, I think. All right, so we'll just go to that store right away. It's in the beginning of the sector, and we've got some scrap. Chance we'll buy a weapon or scanners with my halberd. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. So there's a chance we buy both of those, I guess. Like, can't 
quite run the halberd yet. I mean, it could, technically. But, man, I wish I, I hate three weapon slots so much. Even if it was like you could only run, I wish it was like you had four, but you can only run three, even if you have the power or something. Just, I love having options. I think it's also like more tactically interesting in a way. Um, but there is something to be said about like having to make decisions based off the restrictions. You know, it goes both ways. It's like, I'll probably buy both. Halberd is just too good, especially on a three slot, three weapon slot ship. And scanners have a lot of value, especially now that we jump to those home worlds. Um, but I gotta take a break for a minute and like get some modern stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna just like put up the BRB. Recently learned the game, so appreciate the commentary. Great, yeah, I'm, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to throw them out. Like, I just kind of talk out, like, you know, I think through everything very deliberately in order to, like, play safe. So I just kind of, like, speak it out loud as I'm going through it all in my head to, uh, to let people in on my process. But if there's ever, like, something I gloss over, um, just let me know. Yeah, Dig Dug, that's, like, exactly what it is. It's really hard to pass up a halberd on a three-slot ship when we can afford it. And, like, we're doing good otherwise. Um, that's just, you know, game-winning weapon. So, I'll almost certainly buy that. And the scanners, because then the scanners takes out one of the other threats for, like, once you have a ship that you're kind of set up on, like, one of the few threats is, like, an unexpectedly nasty fight in an environmental hazard. And scanners can remove that threat, or at least make you, like, prepared for it. Um, Alright, but yeah, let me pause it. Put up my uh, BRB. And then I just grab a grab a water real quick and stuff, and then we'll we'll jump back into it.
All right. Thanks for uh, bearing with me there. So, back to the uh, story. Could always buy the Hermes. It's terrible, but we could buy it. No. Gonna buy the Halberd. Um, I'm not gonna slot it in right away because I like these options better. They're like more usable, especially against salt and shields and stuff. Halberd's slow, and you don't really want a weapon that like, if you get hit, then it just goes offline because it takes up all your weapon power. Um, then we're gonna take the scanners too. Scanners just have so much value, both in like generating scrap from you know helping you find fights when you want them, and like avoiding danger. Sometimes I'll buy a drone part to go up to ten, but I'm okay enough here. So I was thinking it's like really have some options with what direction I want to build the ship into for the next like couple sectors. Um, because the two-man boarding can definitely fall off some if you don't keep like a second boarding crew like on hand, which we we have available with the Mantis and the Rock for sure. But we gotta like shuffle our crew some if we want to do that. Um, we can also just kind of like forgo it and just use that to like wrap up fights or on easy ones, and you know get like hacking too and put the halberd in and some weapon power, and even possibly like take the small bomb out, depending on our power. You know as we build it up. Um, or whatever, you know, just a heavy laser with it, that four power. Um, and like, kind of just like be a gunship and not care about the boarding that much. And then we'll do it for flagship to kill the crew for sure, since that's safe with cloaking hacking. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, you know, with the halberd, with the halberd on hand, there's a decent chance that's the direction we're going to go. Honestly, I think I want to buy at this point now. Now that I'm like, okay, I've... All the weapons, I have all the systems, I've got the crew, scanners, like everything I need for flagship except for upgrades, um, and battery. Uh, I want to buy engines. Um, and for me, this is mostly about running if it's a bad fight. Because I don't want to, if I something terrible happens, it's a really bad fight, I need to get out. Like, three engines is much better than two. Um, like, the dodge is always awesome when you dodge, but it's never something you want to bet on happening. Because it's RNG, and there's going to be those times where it's like 2% and it happens over and over again. Um, yeah, yeah, slug train on piloting, that would be awesome. That would be perfect, you're right. Especially for the ship with no mind control. Um, so I'm going to go with Empty Beacon, because I can't help but chase the quest. It's so good. Ah, oh, look at this. First try, by the scanners, jump to the quest. So we hear them out. And then you give it a quest. And that's that one then, I believe. Because I think that was the quest, the other one. So, spoiler alert, this is the Zoltan, Zoltan ship quest, Peace Envoy. So hear them out, and then you attempt to hail them. You don't attack for once. You do, perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideas. Without war, true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Poof. Hey, we got the Envoy. So, no Zalt and Shield. That's alright. Got the Envoy. Um, I mean, it makes it easier to, like, start doing this a little bit if I do want to mess up, like, where my crew is. Although, it's like I do also want someone on sensors would be cool. Um, well, I guess here. Here's what we can do. If we want to do the big mix-up. Mix-up, mix-up. Who cares about manning doors? That's fine. So we can do this. So what this does, we have a boarding crew. I mean, it sucks having, well, whatever. I can, because this is my pilot. So, you know, I mean, I want to get him trained, but I can swap him onto piloting if I need the energy to repair stuff instead, or I can have him line up for the second boarding crew. I mean, I don't know if I actually like this, but I'm going to run it for just a little bit, see how it goes. Triple Zoltan on the Mantis ship is like a little awkward. Um, but, you know, it's not terrible. Uh, do I want to take that quest? I'm trying to remember, because I, I can remember some of the outcomes of it. Yeah, I guess we can take it. Um, I want to get, like, a couple jumps in before the. this is going to be the only other store. Um, 
I mean, I guess I might not go there. I do want battery. Um, I think the teleporter and the take the cargo are the same. They both have a chance of a weapon. Because I mean, this is the problem with this. It, I mean, either way, I get the. It gives you a quest if you do this one. A quest to do, do the delivery, and you get scrap and a drone. So it's still worthwhile, and we get a crew, so we could kick someone off immediately. Um, I don't know if it depends. If it was a human, I don't know if I would. If it was a human, even though it gets me blue option. Um, but then I can also do these. And it's either random scrap or a weapon, or you still get the quest, and you have to feel bad about getting rid of the crew. I think I had to double check the teleporter; that's the same. But I think I might do that and not have to feel bad about the crew, right? This is just the quest tree with a thousand outcomes. The merchants request. Alright, merchant's investigation. Yeah, it's just investigate the cargo. Um, because otherwise, it's we get a crew member and the quest. And the quest gets us medium scrap and a drone. Um, but then we also have to go to another spot to get that. Yeah. Let's do the blue option. <laughs> hey, a heavy ion. Cool. I mean, no matter what, stuff. Something to sell. I figured with the store coming up, it's like... That felt a little more worthwhile than getting a crew that we're just going to have to dismiss one of them. And then having to go to a quest that, like, who knows where it is. Um, to get the reward and then have to sell the thing from it. This is, like, a little more immediate value. Um, so I'll just take this and then go to the store. All right. What is the distress in the asteroid field? I think that's a trap, right? It's like... Because I can take two jumps. I don't know if I really want to go to a distress in an asteroid field or a different fight in an asteroid field. Although, in some ways, it's a little bit easier if it's a Zoltan ship in an asteroid field because the asteroids help you out against their Zoltan shield. Um... I thought, I'm not sure what that event is. I don't think it's the, like, shield them, because that doesn't usually show an asteroid field. I'm, like, almost curious enough to just go there to, to figure out what it is. I feel like I know I've seen it before. Um, and whatever, I can handle an asteroid field. I'm full hull. My ship's strong. So I'm going to go there. I'm just curious what this is. I can't remember. Yeah, okay, it's the interfere, and you so you get to choose if you want to fight Zoltans or if you want to fight Mantis. Um, and it's the same rewards either way. Uh, so we're going to interfere and help the Zoltans because we don't want to fight a Zoltan ship if we don't have to. Alright, and also it's nice because it's a Mantis ship. Um, and often when it's like a Mantis ship spawned this way, it doesn't have the NG crew. It's just like straight Mantis, which is even easier to deal with. Three shields. Gnarly. I mean, Sector 4, you definitely run into three shields. Alright, so let's see. We're hacking their weapons. So we're gonna board over here and just take this guy out first. And then we can switch over to the other guy. Oh, 
him with the, uh... oh, nice, fires also. Um... Oh, geez, everyone's like not saved where they're supposed to be. It's okay. So first you go finish off this guy. Right, then I'm gonna be careful until my teleport. Alright, you guys don't need to come over. Whatever, you just stay here. I mean I think this guy's just gonna burn out and get out of here. Before getting in the med bay room at all. Right? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, the Zolans just like you tell you to get out of here, but you scrap the ship. That's fine. I think like the Mantis don't really give you thanks either or something. You just like get a little scrap. I think lore wise, normally I'd rather. Uh, kill off the Zaltans because they're really obnoxious in a lot of ways, but yeah. Fortunately with wind streaking, it's a little hard to stick to lower stuff too much. All right, so I'm gonna actually save my crew position so I stopped doing that. Um, all right, so take a fight. Have you ever had the asteroid field destroy the enemy ship while your crew is on it? Um, probably. I mean, not not in quite some time, but you know, when you're first alerting, boarding, and then also for a while after that, <laughs> possibly, it's easy to like run into a lot of things. I mean, I've killed my crew on the enemy ships like since I started trying to do wind streaks. Um, it hasn't happened in this wind streak at this point, but when I first started, there was a few times when I like killed my own crew. I killed like five crystals one run. Um, I literally like went to the crystal homeworlds and got more crystals to replace ones I had killed and then killed all of them. It was pretty, it was pretty bad. <laughs> I still won the war, I still won, but it was pretty, it's pretty awful. Um, this fight's also like kind of awful. Um, so let's see, flak, hacking, oh man, they're hacking something too, that's, that changes a lot. Um, also makes me want to like make sure you get out of here in case. Oh, med bay. All right, definitely don't keep anyone in the med bay. Right, you just go sit in weapons, so you're powering something, but. Actually, we can spare the power, it's okay. So I don't want them to damage the system, because then I take a whole damage and then also I have to like repair it, obviously. Um, so right now I'm just trying to like... Um, you don't need to dance. Uh, delay their damage until I can get the venting going, and then I'm just gonna try and like get them to take more damage in there. Definitely fire these as fast as I can. Ah, damn. So I danced a little too much, but that's okay. I mean, it's mostly like I don't, it's not a big deal that the system's broken, I don't think more about, at least at this moment for me, it's more about the whole damage, but actually the system being broken is definitely a little bit problematic. All right, so this, we're going to hopefully just dodge one of them and get by. Uh, I don't want to cloak just the, the flak. You know, it's at least one hit. Jeez, um, all right. Actually, here, you go there. 
with you in my pilot trained one. Sultan are starting to get low. Like we're gonna have to like just shoot the ship down as well because I mean the, the hacking in the med bay and stuff. I mean there's a chance that it's like they'll figure out something else, but there's a decent chance we'll just shoot them down. Um but it's like we're gonna I'm gonna wanna get this fixed and hack their weapons for sure, because like we can't let these weapons keep firing. I wanna get the cloaking fixed. I don't think that's gonna be in time either, unfortunately. Heavy laser hit, so that's good. We're getting close to the and shield being down. Um, all right. So these guys are about to start popping, so that's good. That's gross. Um, I guess I should have had you like help repair. All right, so that sucks also because now we're gonna get hit by every shot. I mean, it's all right. Like, um, all right, those Zoltans. Zoltans are dead. That's great. So we want to start doing this. Did one of their shots collide with something of mine? I don't know. Or maybe I dodged one at the beginning. I didn't notice. All right, so because we're not dodging anything. Oh, we have cloaking now. Actually, is this worth hitting? Uh, we're taking two damage somewhere over here. Otherwise. I kind of feel like this is worth hitting. We got stuff we got we gotta like stabilize here a little bit. And if this is coming for like shields or something and does two damage to shields, like that's problematic. So I'm just gonna cloak right now. Great, we got misses. Awesome. Let's get some repairs going. You can get onto engines because you don't need to be on doors anymore. And hopefully. The cloak ends, so I have like, as much time as possible. All right, so once hacking is online, yeah, you're there. Oh boy, you're trained. Wait, which it, one of you is shields trained too? That's right, so. Um, all right. Otherwise, what do we need to do? Just not get hit by their weapons and die. <laughs> As like, I'm thinking about the crew member in that instance. We need to hack their weapons. Um, do I want to switch to the bomb? Possibly. Possibly want to switch to the bomb. I guess I do a volley first. Um, alright. So this is definitely kind of gross fight. But, I think we'll be okay. So this is fine. We should hopefully be able to dodge at least one of these again. Now we can hack their weapon, so that's cool. I feel like we definitely want to get the bomb online here. Because it's like, it's, this is relying on one shot hitting versus relying on three shots hitting because we have to hit all three right now. Um, all right, so we dodge them there. The 
weapons to delay them, and we'll be able to cloak them. I want to charge O2, but I wouldn't mind my FTL being ready also. <laughs> And there's honestly still a chance we'll crew kill them. Because, you know, if we like really break their weapons and make the fight safe, we can do we can break their hacking and heal up quick or something, or just break them. I mean, we have so many bombs, honestly, we can just like waste bombs shooting them over and over. It's like totally a viable option. All right, so we can cloak again. Well, I'll probably try and dodge. If I don't dodge either of them, I'll take my 95% cloak on the last shot. Yeah, I don't need to waste it. Um, I'm going to wait for the other NG, or not the other NG, the other Zoltan to get in there. They don't have a med bay. So normally this is like not the best way to be doing this, um, but I have so many bombs and also like I don't plan to use it all run since I have the halberd and storage and stuff that I can kind of get away with doing this a little bit. Man, so many misses, geez. I guess that's only like two. really hoping for a fire. Um, I guess there's also a possibility of like boarding them with low health. It's kind of dumb against Sultans, <laughs> but it's a possibility. That was the fake one. Ah, they faked me out. I hate that they have a fake projectile or two fake projectiles or whatever it is. It's so obnoxious. All right, look at that. Let's see. Let's see what's going on over there. All right, I can stop wasting bombs for the moment. Pretty safe at this moment. Um, so really what I want, break hacking. That works, that's gonna give me a, a buffer on the time until hacking is ready to do something to me. Really almost dead also. Quick, everyone in the med bay. Gives me like a big buffer also and like knowing at what point uh, the med bay will be, or not the med bay, well yeah, the med bay will be hacked again. Just get out of there, it's fine. And the crew go now. All right, 38 scrap, five fuel. Um, I think we were full hull, so five damage. You know, that's a good chunk of damage from one fight. I mean, that's the risk of coming to the Zoltan sector. You know, if we had the Zoltan shield, that might not have been a problem. Although, I'm probably still have taken some damage. Um, like, everybody needs to heal some. The border police. But that's also, like, about the worst event there is. You know, not the worst version of it that we got. You know, it can definitely have worse weapons and stuff, but... Zoltan Border Police is such a deadly event. Starting with so many Zoltans on your ship, it's just, like, such a problem. Then they have hacking, also. But... 
Not so bad. That was nerve-wracking. Yeah, that was definitely a little nerve-wracking. Like, I knew we were pretty safe um, from, like, really threatening damage, but I, I definitely saw that that potential was there, that it could be a pretty gross fight. Just, so I had to take it very careful from the beginning. Um, also, just, like, the Zoltans on the ship, you have to be so careful, because if you, like, unpause for just, like, a couple seconds too long, and then all of a sudden you kill all four of them at the same time, it's just, like, you just kill, like, so many of your crew by accident. Alright, so we're definitely selling that. Bad weapon. Um, buy two drone parts. Um, sector four. So I want to get shields up on this ship soon, but I do also kind of want to expand my offenses. There's a lot of things I want to do. So I guess I should probably get this online. Just don't know how I want to put it in. Because it's kind of like, if I don't keep the burst laser, if I don't go up to 5 weapon power and keep that, then I'm just being like, okay, well then I have to get hacking up also. And just plan on, like, hacking if I want to use the halberd. Um, which isn't necessarily the wrong way to go. I'm also just thinking that it's like, I still want to keep this for a while because I have so many bombs and it is very useful. Um... But I'd much I'd rather have this as my end game loadout instead of having the bomb, you know, instead of whatever other version. Um, so if if that's the way I'm thinking that I want to like not build into that quite yet, then I want to invest like in other things for sure, like wind defenses or something. Um, and often I would wait until like the beginning of next sector, but some sectors are just so gross. I wish you had battery. Why does no one have a battery? I feel like so many of my runs lately, they haven't had batteries. This is like, I don't have quite enough scrap to want to go up to three shields yet. I'm going to buy a buffer. That's enough for me right now. Alright, so let me just measure this out real quick. Um, so, probably four jumps before the exit. Might just be three in a nebula. It's a little close. But let's see how we only get two before this. That's our only connection there. We do one, two. I mean, no matter what, unless we want to dive like a bunch of these jumps. We're gonna have to just waste some jumps, so that's okay. Just how it is sometimes. Um, anything else from this store? 26 is good enough. Over 27. Envoy, half a battery, yeah. Exactly. I mean, he's on top of battery. Um,. All right, so the weapons can hurt us because this can get through our shields. If we bought, if we had bought level two shields, we'd be safe. Other than whatever this thing is going to do to us, um, I'm going to wait and see what that's doing before make any decisions about what we do. So what is that? That's piloting. Oh, that's engines. Kind of same thing. Um. So yeah, I'm just going to do this. So as I'm doing evasion hack, um, is because I. I know I get through their shields, you know, so I can get the heavy laser shot through. And doing two damage to their weapons makes me safe. Because it either takes off the mini beams or it takes off this. And either version of that, um, we're safe. So even though it's not like, oh, if you did shields or something, maybe we'd kill them faster. But this is like a guarantee. Um, and I'd rather take like the guaranteed thing with no RNG. Where it's like we hack their shields or something, but then all of our shots miss. Yeah, we took off the thing anyway, it doesn't matter, I guess. So 
So yeah, I took off the mini beams. That's good. And then it's like, you know, yeah, we're going to have like miss, miss, miss. So that could have been our volley uh, if we did like a shield hack or a weapons hack or something. Um, so that's why I did the evasion hack there. Just wait for it to go around again. Now, the thing is, even if we shoot all this into their. They have level 3 piloting, so I might actually hit their shields first and make it so I only need to land two shots on them instead. Prove our odds that way first. Now we gotta keep an eye out for when they repair their weapons. 20 evasion. Right, so they got a thing online now. Scrap. Uh, pulsar. Oh, yuck. But do I really want to pass up the fight? <laughs> if I kept those, uh, both those reverse ion fields. Oh, near and then Kieran, you got uh, the double bio beam. That's fun. I enjoy the double bio beam. Um, I think the only run I've ever had it on was actually not a, a Slug A run. I think it was like a Slug C run where I found two of them. And I had like a couple reloaders and I used it against Flagship. And it was pretty funny. It wasn't like the strongest thing ever for sure. It had its downsides. Um, but it was definitely fun. Alright, Pulsar fight. Um, how scared am I of the Pulsar? How scared should I be of the Pulsar? I mean, I have Zoltans, which helps out a lot. It's, I kind of feel like it's bad to skip it, but I'm going to get my shields up. Buy a power bar, even. There's definitely many runs when I would be like, whatever, I'm just going to take the Nebula jumps and go, because this is too risky. Um, but I think it's okay on this ship right now. Um, all right, so we're until the ion, you know, until the pulsar goes off. Of course, we're safe except for the missile, which is a big hit. Except for I should get my weapon power up to four and just keep this loadout. Honestly, is what I should do, so I can just always have the missiles up to spam. Because um, like these don't really work unless they're both up. So it's like I always have to kind of choose like one or the other right now. Since you're on the horizon, I'm having a little bit. Right, so I should be boarding them probably. Alright, nice. Yeah, see, this does it. So they want to fight me two on two in shields, but they take their lowest priority crew, which is this guy, in the, the weapons guy. And so they're just going to let me fight one on two at first. Um, all right, so before we deal, like, I'm going to just ignore the med bay at first and just worry about trying to, like, disable their offense because that's what the real issue is. Um, I'm just going to hack it first. Then I'm going to wait for the pulsar to, like, fire these weapons off really quick. Chance the pulsar will take out their med bay. This will definitely stay up because that's the salt line. Um, right, so I have time. I'm going to drop these down. So if they do get ioned, it's for less time. And a risk. Actually, I'm not really sure how that works with the, that guy in there. So we'll see. Nice. So their weapons got ioned. And for us, cloaking and shields, it's okay. Um, because they just have the missile who doesn't care about shields, so that's fine that that's down. Cloaking will be up in time as well, I believe. 
to run a Zoltan into it if I thought about that in advance, but we're good. So we'll cloak their missile. All right, so you need to get over there so I can do another boarding. You guys need to like preserve your health a little more. 90% chance we can do it, right? All right, awesome. What's going on over here? 64, 32. All right, so that should be it. Safe enough fight at this point. All right, 32 scrap. So glad I took that, um, since obviously. Didn't take any damage. Figured out enough tools on the ship. And it's like if things that were bad started happening, I could have microed the Zoltans around to like put them all on weapons or put them all on shields or something. Um, I just didn't even really have to bother with how, uh, how the fight went. All right, so I'm just gonna wait until I would cycle where the uh, shields can recharge before I jump. Say like jump into a drone or something. Right, that's good enough. All right, so we're gonna go up this way so we're not to dive. Um, I mean, there's so much of both. <laughs> Honestly, my main reason not for doing this is in case I like run into the missile events. I could sell 15 missiles a lot easier. If I do this, I maybe can't. I can't do it twice. I mean, it's like this should enough fuel to possibly get me through the run already with just like the default rewards you get. So I'll ignore that one. Not really a big deal either way. We're pretty flush on resources this run. jumps use up that fuel that we have so much of all right three empty nebula jump or i guess a trade and two empty jumps and then this is empty because uh, exits and nebulas are always empty all right ng controlled or ng controlled um i think we're gonna do the ng controlled um we have scanners which helps in the nebula sectors however they're not great for us, like nebula sectors, because we can't, if it's a slug nebula, mind control is like kind of annoying. It's not a huge deal, I guess. Um, I'm trying to think of like what's the worst, you know, if this is salt in and then like double abandoned, I guess. And if this is uncharted and double salt in, it's like this is kind of better in that case. I guess I'm more worried about abandoned than I am slug, like abandoned with mind control versus slug with mind control, because abandoned with mind control can have cloaking, hacking, teleport, or whatever setup of three systems, versus the slugs, they can have cloaking, but no hacking. Um, so I can deal with that kind of mind control a lot easier. And the scanners helps out, so I'm going to go up this way, actually. Um, and I'd rather deal with a Zolan sector than an abandoned sector on this ship. Oh, I doubt I get double abandoned too. But that's the thing, it's when you're doing the, the wind streaking and like trying to maximize, you basically wanna like always work from assumptions of like, well, if this is the worst case scenario happens because you run into the, that eventually with RNG, you know, you roll the dice enough times. You get those times where it's like, oh, here's all of the worst things happening in a row. Um, so you want to be like, okay, in that case, how bad is it? And is it that bad I need to worry about? Or is it that bad it makes a difference? Versus like, 
you know, will it be that much better going that way than this way? Um, yeah. I mean, everything in FTL ends up being like a risk-reward thing, trying to figure out. All right, so I want to do that for sure. So I, kind of want to, I almost want to do that, too. Do I really need to sell? I guess a weapon when I put the halberd up. I think I'm okay with this for now. Um, but yeah, there's like definitely when you wanna, if you wanna like get into doing win streaks, so consistency over like a lot of runs, um, there's definitely like a few mindset changes that you need to like adapt to um, and how you need to play the runs. Or like you'll just run into one where you get really unlucky and you lose and it was avoidable, but like you wouldn't normally like play that safe if you're just like playing the game for fun or just to try to beat it like you're not going to be sacrificing power for like consistency um because that's like a choice i'll often make i'll be like this will make me take a little bit of damage but remove the chance that there's that like five percent chance that it's a really bad fight like i'd rather take two damage guaranteed and have no chance at taking 20 damage but a lot of time it, you know if you're not doing the win streak stuff, it's like, well, I can risk a small chance of something really bad happening because it probably won't happen. Um, but like, if you keep making those risks for a lot of runs, eventually it is going to happen. And so it's, it forces you to play like in a way that's sometimes feels worse where you like take on more small risks and have a weaker ship in some ways. Uh, but you're trading that for like the consistent consistency of avoiding the worst outcomes. At least you're, you know, attempting to. Um, so we'll attack them here. Risk it for the biscuit, yeah. Um, all right, so we're not boarding, obviously. Level one teleporter. Can't do that. We could do it with a rock technically, but that's not that's not our game. Um, this is like not a non-issue. So your engine's trained, so whatever. You go on shields, and you go on engines. Um, technically, I guess... Yeah, my engine has, like, so little piloting training. I gotta just, like, switch up my crew positions in that way. I'm not gonna keep him on piloting enough. It's like I need him for repairs. Um, so I can put two Zalt in, in here, and then this will never... It can't, you know, deionize the shield, so it won't do anything. It won't ionize any other systems. So I need to use that power there. Um. So here's another one where it's like, okay, I can't actually get through their shields unless I bomb their shields. I need to do at least four damage to their weapons to guarantee this goes offline. Like, it's possible that, like, doing any damage will take it offline. But, so, I think here I do another another evasion hack. Because otherwise I'm just, like, rolling the dice too many times. Like, this is one of those cases where there's a decent chance I could do a weapons hack to slow it down and just put bombs into it. Because I can waste bombs right now until it's broken and it might not fire at all that way, and or, can, or I can cloak all the times it fires. But there's a small chance I just like keep missing, and I just get peppered with their gun over and over again. Um, versus this gives me a chance to like get some guaranteed outcomes. Um, that said, I'm not positive how I'm gonna play it still. Like there's a chance I let this fire once or twice. Um, because what I'm thinking about right now is small bombing their shields once to drop into two shields and then firing my lasers into piloting so the heavy hits it and breaks it. And then all my future volleys are guaranteed. Um, at this hull, I feel like it's worthwhile. I have cloaking and stuff, so it's not like I'm necessarily going to eat that much damage from this. Um, I'll try and fire f first. 
Ooh, stuff can be on cooldown. Okay, so I guess actually we'll, we'll need to cloak and then we can fire these. Because um, we have to wait for the bomb to like actually break the system before we fire the lasers. Right, so 95% evasion, that's pretty good. So we dodge that. You can see it that checks the evasion right as the tip hits that. Alright, so now that I didn't often you'd want to delay this so the cloak doesn't get interrupted, but I don't want to miss my window on the hack, so I gotta fire this right away. I gotta fire too. There's actually a chance that does damage to the system. Um you can kill an auto ship with a fire beam as a Life's a burrito has done. He's another streamer. Um, he used the speed hack to do it, and it still took like a really long time, I believe. But it's totally possible. All right, so here, everything into weapons, because another two and two damage. Um, we'll take that offline for sure. And otherwise, we just hope we dodge this one. Hey, and we did. So look at that, we took no damage anyway. So it definitely ended up being a good strategy, I think, this time. Yeah, see, that's those statistics are always surprising, where it's like, you know, 95% sounds really high, but yeah, if that only gets you up to, you know, 14 or 15. Um, which seems to be a point I think a lot of people, I mean, not a lot, because if you're already working with a small number of people that play FTL on hard to begin with, um, but of the people, oh, wow, look at that, nice double reward, of the people who do win streaks and try to get into it, um, a lot like will cap at the mid to upper teens for a while before they can figure it out and like get on to the next. Um, and like I had, I had two streaks of like 15 and 17 before this one. Um, and I think that kind of is part of what it plays into. It's like, you can get through a lot of the runs, but when you have that run that sometimes is one that's like going okay at first, so you don't realize it, and then it goes really bad, and you just didn't like play super careful in advance in the first sectors to like prepare for really bad luck in the future, and then you die, and you're like, well, if I wasn't so sloppy when I thought I was doing okay, maybe I would have lived. And then you realize like, okay, I need to like, you know, be vigilant from the very beginning. All right, so this is the virus. Um, I'll probably do the hacking option. I gotta look them up again. I know hacking, the it varies based on your level. Um, so it's, it's really good at level three, but we only have level one right now. I don't really care. I don't wanna do the NG option where we like get the virus crew. It's like, that doesn't really matter that much to me, the crew training. Um, so hacking is low scrap resources and drone reactor augment. Um, if we attack it, we fight it and get random scrap and resources. Um, so I feel like instead of random scrap, I'd rather get low scrap and an augment and not have to risk damage at the same time. So yeah, we'll do hacking. All right, so low scrap in sector five, still 20 scrap, not bad. Drone reactor booster, can sell that. Um, I still really want to find the stores. So I'm actually going to go to this empty jump because I feel like I like the way that roots my sector a little better in case one of these is the store. It's not necessarily empty. And also like NG sectors are like the best sectors to take jumps without ships. There's many good events at them. This is an empty one, of course. It's always, whenever I try and talk about it, that's always what happens. Um, I'm gonna do it again anyways. All right, so this is a low scrap because we have the blue option. Uh, if you attempt to pry them apart, you get a fight that you don't get any rewards from. This is the uh, embarrassing NG smashing together. Um, all right. How many jumps we have left in this sector? NG sectors are so fast. We have four jumps left for sure. And I don't know if I really want to do that. Do I really need two stores in a row? 
just for like battery. I mean, I gotta take one of them, obviously. I got all this stuff to sell. Um, I think what I do is I take these two and then the store and then one more jump and go. It's a better option. As much as I love chasing stores too much, um, I mean, not necessarily too much. There's a ton of value in getting like good weapons and all the things you need on your ship and having less scrap. That's another big part of win streaking is learning to win with low scrap um, because you're gonna have low scrap runs and also like it's a safer way to play often is to like avoid some things and avoid some risks, uh, but ending with lower scrap. Um, we're safe from their weapons, so we take our time on this fight. So I probably won't try and, I only have eight drone parts, so I don't super want to use them. So I'll probably just mostly rely on the bomb. Right, so let me just kill you. Everybody's dead. That guy's dead. We just gotta kill these two crew and we're done. Um, you should be fine, but just in case. Alright. Five fuel, 43 scrap. I have not had to buy any fuel this run. That's not an uncommon thing with boarding ships because there's that chance to get high fuel but there I've definitely had boarding runs where I've run out of fuel too because if you just don't get that option repeatedly you know you just don't get any of the options that have resources you have like limitless weapons and no fuel <laughs> um no I didn't need bombs there I could have done it with extra boarding and running around on the ship and breaking the systems um, but yeah, as they, I have so many and it's like, that just, they'll take longer and as much as it is worth like, you know, min maxing with the wind streaking, there's also a point of like, I am a human and I have mental fatigue. <laughs> um, and so I often make choices that are like realizing that and be like, I'm going to make a mistake if I don't like give myself a little room here and buy an extra power bar or something, or like, you know, I have room here, so I don't need to like go crazy playing super vigilant and give myself like a little space. Um, it's just about, you know, not going too easy. So here we can definitely give them the fuel 45 scrap. That's just awesome. Store. Hey, a battery. That's exciting. Um, so we're definitely selling this. We're definitely selling this. Oh boy. Um, is there any? I don't think it would be running realistically. Halberd, double burst laser one, right? What are the chances that that's what I want to run? Because I feel like no matter what. Once I'm running the halberd, like if I'm using weapons, I'm shield hacking for the most part. It's just kind of how it is, unless I get like a flak or something. Um, although, I mean, if I have six, I could technically do it with like this or something. I just I hate giving up a heavy laser. I love heavy lasers. And it's like, and once I'm shield hacking, it's like, this is better. It's better against salt and shields. Um, it's better in every way if it's not about shield breaking, really. Um, all right. I'm not going to buy any of these. I don't need crew. I'll buy drone parts. I feel like it's about time that I, like build into the ship that that I have set up here. Um, 
which is like, like I have the scrap to do it. Yeah, so like I hate doing this because I have the bombs and these are so useful. I wish I went up to four weapon power earlier. I should have just done it to like spam them. But like we've earned enough scrap in this run already um, that we don't have to go crazy making sure we crew kill every single ship if it doesn't work out. You know, if we feel we need bombs for it or something or if, like with a slug sector. I don't want to be as reliant on crew kills. Um, so we can just like vent our crew member around the ship who's mind controlled if they have that, and then just blow them up with a shields hack and then the halberd burst laser, heavy laser. Um, so we just do that. And then we can sell bombs and stuff if we run into the vent. Um, so this makes us more reliant on hacking in multiple ways. So I'm just going to buy 12 because. I've got the scrap to do it. And it gives me a buffer for just like, you know, being able to throw them out there. Um, so we have batteries, so that helps out on power some. But I still want more. Because I got to do like that. So that gives us, you know, we can hack down level three shields, well, like three shield bubbles battery. I guess we're still kind of short on power, aren't we? I mean, it makes sense. We just bought, like, all this stuff. Uh, but this is, like, a weapons loadout for sure. This is this is serious business. Um, totally works for flagship. <laughs> Passing up hacking stun. Hacking stun is the worst. It's, like, the only augment that, like, completely ruins you. Um, like, it's made me take damage before when I found a free one because I, like, hacked their weapons and then I couldn't break... I couldn't do a damage through punching their weapons because of the stun. Um, and so it was like delayed. And so they're able to like fire a missile that hit me for like two damage. And I was like, really hacking stun. You're literally making me take more damage this fight because I found you the jump before just the worst augment there is by far. Hey, war crimes. Um, Also, if it's a slug sector next, I'm going to want to buy uh, oxygen, aren't I? So whatever. We can pass up a power. Yeah, five. At the end of sector two, we already had cloaking and hacking. And the burst laser one and a heavy laser. <laughs> it's like... And we had seven crew at that point. Um, so this one we offer up the mantis. Because there's a less of a chance of uh, damage. Because both of those can give you just the hull damage. High scrap reward. Nice. Alright, here we go. And since we sold the small bomb, don't have to worry about that at all. That's another 45 scrap. And Slug Home Nebula. Alright. So, I think I made the right choices in like building into weapons and stuff at that moment in preparation for this sector. Uh, so this is, I buy oxygen here when I can afford it. It's like one of the only times I chase a blue option. It's just a really good option in two different events that you run into very commonly in slug sectors. Um, and it's an upgrade you want to do for flagship anyway, which isn't always a good reason to get it early. But if you can afford it, it's like I've got all the things I need on the ship. I just need upgrades anyway, so it's not a big deal to get that. Um... I have some more scrap to spend here. It's like I might do do a little bit spending. I feel like Sector 6 is often a point when I just start investing in my ship because usually I've gotten like most of the things I need. Because um, this gets me up to 100% dodge with cloaking. And this makes it so I don't go crazy my growing power. <laughs> Alright, look at this. This is solid. How often do I grab Pilot 2 for the Debris event? Um, almost never. Uh, I often won't buy piloting until the flagship, if at all. Sometimes I'll skip it the entire run. Um, and that event is only a 1 in 5 chance of losing crew. So sometimes I'll take it. Uh, like with this ship right now, if I ran into it, I'd probably take it. And just risk losing a crew member. Or I wouldn't and be like, I don't need this stuff from it. Um, but there's definitely... That's about... 
like the only way I really lose crew members in general. I'm sure I've probably lost like one or two others in the streak some other way. Um, but I've probably lost like a half dozen crew members to that event because I'll often take it because it can be really worthwhile. Um, and it's a much lower chance of losing the crew than the other events. But it's definitely not worth taking like, you know, in sector one when you have two or three crew, like it's too big of a risk then usually. Um, but I just don't find the piloting upgrade to be that great. Um, like, like at this point of the game, I, actually, I guess there's a chance I would buy it at this point because it's like, oh, I have the scrap and it doesn't matter. But like in the early game, I think buying piloting is a really bad choice because scrap is just way too valuable. Um, and you won't know it's that event beforehand either. Like you're just hoping it is, even if you have scanners. Um, but it's definitely like a, a close call. I know there's a, a, a division among people. Uh, like even high level players I think about how to deal with it. All right, I think I'm pretty good here. I'm also just thinking about the time. Um, sector six. Cause it's getting a little late my time here. Um, but I think I want to do at least this sector still. I mean, I'll see how long this sector takes, I guess, and make a decision, you know, if this sector goes fast, the next one's an NG, maybe we'll still finish the run tonight. Um, but I can definitely do this sector at least. But I gotta just take a break for a minute again. Um, get another cup of water. And then I'll be right back and we'll do this uh, slug sector, which should be should be interesting fights, I think. Slug, slug fights are usually a little complicated. So, I'll get back to that soon.
Your mind's eyes playing used car commercial for the NGB right now. That's great. NGB is definitely a little bit of a, a beater. All right. My last run, I was like, oh, I really want to get, I had the same thing, like I think it was Sector 6 Slug or Sector 5. And I was like, I really want to get Oxygen, um, but like I couldn't afford it. And I was like, I'll get it after my first jump. And my first jump was Oxygen Hack event. And then I got it after that, and then I didn't find another one. <laughs> so I'm wondering if that's going to happen again, but this time I am prepared. Probably not. No, it's the Magical Hack event. Um, but this one is not as big a deal. It's just two borders, which is definitely not a big deal with our crew. Um, their weapons are weird. I think this will time with this on the second volley of this. Um, so that's like the one to watch out for. But their cloak might change their volley a little bit. Depends what level cloak it is. Um, we just have to be careful with the like... We can't heal our crew until uh, the fight's over. Um, all right, so it's like we probably just do a shield attack. That's what we do with the halberd most of the time. Um, once we get some damage on their weapons, the fight's a lot safer. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't know what I'm thinking about that much. There's really not many options. I mean, we, if we did evasion, we could hit their shields with this, but there's no, there's no real point to doing that with this weapon set up. So I did that a little early, because I need to wait longer before I can hack, um, so the halberd will be ready. Got the shields charging up fast enough. Doesn't matter we didn't dodge yet. Um, so that's enough time. Probably too much time. We'll see. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, alright, so... I'm trying to think about how I want to do this damage. Yeah, I think that's the one I want to do. Do two, so I'll bring him down to two shields. Looks like, do I want to bring him down even more? Do I want to hit weapons even more? I think I'll put the heavy in here since it's a, a hacked room. All right. So I'm not gonna try and crew kill them because of the medical hack event. And also, I only still have level one teleporter. Because, um, like, there's totally a chance, you know, we can make this fight safe enough. Uh, but I don't have, like, enough crew. And then you might have, like, five crew over here. And they have the clone bay, which I didn't break. Um, and the crew that started out on my ship will clone into that clone bay. Yep, you're popping out now. fixed. Should be okay, because I think it's just level one, right? Yeah. And then this will kill him. Alright, 55 scrap. Hack ends. Easy fight. But I think it was Zoltan's crew and he hetero... What's it? I don't know what a heterodox take is. Um, I think... A couple Zoltan, like two, is opens up a lot of options and can be very useful. More than that, it starts to become problematic really quickly. Um, and like the benefits of getting power from them, like kind of, it, it's not usually enough. You know, there's times if you're like really desperate, like if you're having a really bad run and you're really behind, they can have more value that way because it's like, well, you the scrap you save from the power is like super valuable in that moment. Um, 
but they don't have a ton of blue options and they're bad at dealing with borders and it's like they're bad at dealing with borders not just their life but like if you have to like dance them back and forth they can like really screw you up like if you just have a ton of zolans it can be a real pain sometimes like running around your ship and not interrupting your hack and your cloak and, and all that stuff um we're definitely attacking this ship med bay um lasers so they can definitely deal damage to us Depends a lot on how they use this guy here. Actually some fancy stuff we could do to deal with the uh, high blast. Um, what do I want to hack? This ship I could probably crew kill. Do we really need to? Probably have so many crew. Do we hack their weapons? Is that really the best choice? I still do a shield attack. So here, like normally, if you keep the one Zoltan in, his power bar is down at the bottom, so you'll still get ion. Um, like you'll still take a bar away unless you had six Zoltans in here to fill the whole thing up. But if you run one in when they have the one ion damage, it forces it back into the system. And so it actually brings the shield bubble back online. Uh, so that's a pretty cool trick. I actually just learned that one recently um, from one of Mike's videos, who's like the king of all the really technical things. Right, so it's actually it's nice that he's charging these up so they all sync together and we can just cloak them all at the same time. It's like perfect. Then we can start up our hack. Then I want to fire the halberd first to pull some of their evasion out. Um, yeah, that's probably best. And I think they have a buffer. That's fine. Alright, so they're pretty dead now. Thing is, you gotta like prepare for that, so you gotta have like power out of there, run him out, and then run him back in. And it still drops for a moment, so there's times where it doesn't actually help you out. Um, but there's times it can be really helpful. That's not a good enough surrender at all. Yeah, Mike Shield Drone Micro, change your opinion on stealth. So, yeah, I mean, it's it definitely helps it out a lot. It still has difficulties, um, but that changes its power a lot. Oh, heterodox ops of orthodox. That makes sense. For some reason, I thought heterodox was like a uh, a streamer or something. I feel like actually I've, I've heard that term before. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what my, my heterodox takes would be. I feel like, because I feel like that's kind of a standard take that like a couple of zones is useful, but too many isn't great. But sometimes, sometimes I'm a little thrown off by what actually the popular takes are. I mean, definitely my most uh, heterodox take would be uh, how much I value Reloader. So here, we got the Oxygen Blue option. You know, pretty much always like run into this event. Um, I think it's guaranteed to spawn in the sector, and then there's a chance for it to like spawn again or have the other Oxygen Hack event. Um, so it's definitely not an unusual one to run into. Um, also, this is like the easiest ship in the world to crew kill. So we're going to do that. Because um, they guarantee you just have two crew. So we'll just do the big hacks. If those fire, that's fine. Oh, let's break the weapons, basically. <laughs> um, I guess it might have been faster to break their piloting or something. It might only be level one. Nope, definitely not level one. 
Um, my value in Reloader, yeah, first shots is definitely part of it, is a big part of it. It's also just, like, if you lay out, like, a fight, you know, like, whatever fight, however many volleys a fight takes, you know, it's definitely variable, but, you know, like, if it's, like, three volley fight or something, or four volley, like, where that puts that last volley or the one before it in term, like, against their cooldowns and their weapons, um which start to add even more value. Like it might be, oh, you don't really get in before their first missile, but you get in before their second one or something. Or you get three volleys in before their second volley. Um, or you time cloak before they fire the firebomb for some reason, so it doesn't actually help you. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, did I interrupt it anyways though? Cool. So now I just have to uh, kill their engines guy. Um, but along the same lines also of uh, beating weapons cooldowns, it also helps a lot of weapons. Like I generally favor fast weapons also at the same time. So it helps stuff like, oh, usually around one reloader will make it so burst laser two can fire twice um, in between enemy cloaks instead of just once. Or, you know, like, there's a lot of timings like that that start to work out. Um, but it, it's not like, I haven't sat there and calculated, like, how much it helps or what situations it helps the most or anything. A lot of it is just, like, uh, based off feeling. Um, but I feel like I've got a pretty good, like, intuitive sense of a lot of the timings in the game. I can usually, like, just kind of, you know, I don't have to do the math. I can just remember when things are going to fire. Um... So it might also make me like overvalue it just because I can like tell it's doing things, uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's making that big a difference. Um, it also depends a lot like what you're giving up to get it. Like the situation I think where I most value it, where people underrate it, is like sector two. If you if you can't find like other offense or something. Um, instead of floating all your scrap, I think buying a reloader can really help some ships, like, be stronger offensively in a significant way. Even, like, early game with just two weapons or something. Um. Yeah, it's not a whole lot to do. I might buy the teleport upgrade, honestly. Gives me a little, a little more flexibility against some of these ships with a lot of crew. So we can see what's happening here. That's exciting. Beam drone, anti drone. Oh, something's coming over too. Four crew, med bay. Um, no med bay hack, actually. I kind of think this might be the fastest way to kill them. Ooh, ion drone. That's exciting. This is something I used to not do med bay hacks like at all because I kind of had the impression um, that it was like a newbie trap or something because it's something that like I feel like a lot of players actually that you know a lot of newer players do overvalue uh, but I realized especially on like this ship on the two person teleporter ships it can be a pretty effective way to like eliminate crews just fast um, as a way to make fights safe that can actually be safer than like doing it in on their weapons and stuff. I'm not always sure when it's right, uh, but that's a change that I've made in the last, you know, like within my streak. That's gross. Also, it's like I first saw like something like this happening possibly. Um, and I was like, I don't want to have to do a shields hack and then have this thing land in hacking or in weapons. And even if I kill it with all my Mantis, like it's still probably gonna get at least one of its volley things off. Um, and this this makes me be a lot less dependent on it. Um, all right. Nice, and that's just a Leto, which means it'll fire more, but just the one damage. Um, 
That thing does four ion damage. There's nothing I can really do about that. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just gonna, like, my offense is gonna be going offline right now anyway. So we just do that. 5% chance to nail my rock. Ah. Actually, I want to run him in here because I really don't want the pilot to get through. I guess the door might reset because it's like I don't want him to be able to get into the med bay at all. Great. Um, and then I just totally tunnel vision and just like stop paying attention to what's going on over here. Doesn't super matter. I guess I don't want my envoy to die. <laughs> Should probably have that. Just do this. All right. Nice. Um. So technically here, I can avoid this damage if I don't dodge it. Oh, that's right. Well, I could reset my cloaking. So that's nice. Um, oh, you're not fully trained. I was like, why is it not 100? That's right. You're only part. You got part training now? No, you got no training. All right, dodged it. Because we could jump away before it hits to avoid the damage there also. But we'd be like, you know, injured. So it's not ideal. Yeah, it's an envoy, you know. It would have been really cool if it was a Zolan shield. Also, we got, like, the jump after the envoy. Uh, we had an option to take a free crew member. <laughs> and it was just like, ugh, whatever, we got full crew now. I don't want to, like, dismiss a crew member. Also had two free reverse ion shields uh, in the first two sectors, uh, which was kind of cool, and I kind of wanted to keep it. But then I had the option of either keeping them or buying hacking, which is like a pretty easy choice most of the time. Um, I want to go to the store. I just want to make sure I don't like get too far ahead in this sector. So I might actually take this empty jump possibly and like just to get a couple jumps in before the store and make sure I don't waste any jumps. Um, Yeah, no, this run is looking very, very good. It's a This is an awesome run. Uh, ask if they would like payment. Yeah. Um, ooh, look at this. All right, double burst laser two. So they sink, and that's, you know, six shots. Cloaking, mind control, a big missile. Got a clone bay. A lot of fun stuff on this suit. So, ooh, nice, and they, they uh, got the pilot. Vent him out of there, because that's one we really don't want to deal with. Um, yeah, level one mind control. Luckily, this mantis is actually more trained than he, the Manji is anyway, so not a big deal. Um, gonna put our weapons online. This is a crucial step in killing a ship. Putting our weapons online. Got to do the shield sack pretty much. These, it's like really depends how this goes. We're missing dodge too because of the uh, the fighting going on. I guess I could have tried to vent him out of there too, but All right, there's one miss. So we need three to have it be zero damage for sure. Oh, there you go. Can save cloak for the missile. It's pretty awesome. All right. 
<laughs> you know, my control ended and you just shot him one more time. You just like, you know, you're a dick, man. You gotta know it. I gotta tell you. Not cool. But really, it's not the NG's fault. Um, alright, so that gets cloaking offline, damage on their weapons. Man, the ship, I kind of feel like I just want to do this. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> got that missile off just in time. It's okay. Uh, definitely don't let them live. Nice. Oh, yeah, we got 100%. So. We didn't leave the NG in charge of driving. Oh, nice. We got a fire going on in there. It's like these ships, uh, there's definitely a decent chance I could crew kill them if I was really aiming to. Um, but there's much more risk in me messing that up also. And also take like way longer because I have to be really careful to make the fights, like not do too much damage with the fires, but I have to take their clone bay down. Um... I have to keep, like, the, uh, mind control down. Um, and we're far enough ahead, and it just isn't necessary. Um, alright. I think we just do, do the three fights, and then the store. That's pretty nice. Um, that's a lot of heavy laser. <laughs> wow. It's like the same fight, but just the heavy laser edition. Mind control. Cloaking. Heavy lasers. So, you know, we'll just kind of do the same thing. Oh, this is annoying to vent here, actually, I guess. So I guess we'll just fight here some instead. Um, because I doubt I'm going to do anything different, really. This is a little easier for us to avoid damage, though, because we don't have to, like, you know, like the missile, you can't risk it. You gotta cloak it because you can't be like, well, do I dodge it? Let me dodge it a second time. But these, it can be like, well, we can see if we dodge their first shots um, and then decide if we need to cloak. Just gotta be careful about it because heavy laser getting through your shields is very not fun. Um. Didn't dodge any of those. So it's a little bit of a risk, like waiting until it's the last one because there's 5% chance now and no shield left, but not worthwhile. Um, definitely a late hack. Hopefully, I mean, it should still be okay getting in before they cloak, but it's gonna be a little tighter than I like. Take slug surrenders. And let's do another volley. It should be good, I think. No, no mic control. Alrighty. Um, it'd be more optimal to do that probably for um, evasion sake, yeah. Um, my thought was hitting weapons first, I think. That thought occurred to me, but for some... I think also it didn't totally matter. Um, but definitely for like maximizing the reduction of evasion, it's better to track the beam from engines over. Um, blue option. Especially when they have a lot of crew. Sometimes when they don't have a ton of crew, it doesn't matter because it's like, oh, the pilot will get pulled immediately or something. Um, but there, it definitely makes a difference. Uh, their weapons are like fast and damaging, um, but also they're boarding. So I can kill two of their crew that board over, hopefully with this crew, and then I'll board with the other ones into their med bay. Just try and kill them fast. 
I don't know if this is the safest way to do this fight or not. Probably not, but I'm kind of curious. Let's see how it goes. Also, I don't have the strongest crew to like kill them with on my ship. It's not terrible, but I don't have like a really good second boarding crew that's all trained or anything. I guess no, yeah, they're not even level one yet. in case like they have a higher level teleporter um, and then also because I think they just have four crew so the fight will end and since they're on the clone bay the moment uh, that all the crew die all right so shields are full I should probably have my evasion up because um, this is incoming but that's just three shots so it should be fine So yeah, that actually worked out pretty well. Um, and that's the kind of stuff I was like talking about before with doing more medbay hacks, like feeling like actually sometimes it's just such a fast way to kill the crew in certain situations that it's a way to make it safer, easier than dealing with uh, any weapon stuff, just like cloak one volley. Oh yeah, I mean, you nitpick, I think it's actually I personally think it's not that hard to nitpick me, but maybe it's because it's me. Um, I find a mis I find a mistake I make pretty much every fight. There's things I do wrong or like that aren't perfectly optimal. Um, but I'm not the type of player who can like strive for perfection because I know I'll just like crumble immediately if I try to do that. Uh, I have to have a more uh, balanced approach in my psyche. So. I try to like save vigilance for when I absolutely need it and otherwise like take a little easy at least like relative to what I think is easy but I'm sure many players still see it as like pretty intense but to me it's like oh, I'm like being casual here I'm not like checking every possible thing at every moment I'm not frame pausing you know every little bit um and some shield hacks this is like an easier crew to kill they didn't have mind control I would like definitely just crew kill them. Um, it's like it's not gonna vent in time. The rock's so slow. Just run you over. Right, so yeah, like here, I want to do. And this ship's always a pain because it's like if you want to do four damage, you can't do like the swipes you want. Um, so you do like shields and mind control, but I don't want to do that. It's like I, I want to do pilot and shields and, and, and weapons and this or something. Um, but I'll just take the less damage and do because it's this one, it makes a big difference because you hit piloting first. Um, and their weapons aren't that dangerous. And then let's see. I dropped one. I'll probably just actually this one. I'm just gonna put it all into shields. They might still dodge because they have level three piloting, of course. No. moment I'm like well maybe I'll crew kill because they don't have a way to heal <laughs> but I don't care enough it's fine it's like just the one ship that like I feel like I crew kill slug ships all the time on weapon ships 
Uh, and like so rarely on boarding ships. I just like avoid crew killing them. But on weapon ships all the time, I'm like all about starting fires on slug ships and burning them down. Um, all right, so go to the store. Have some scrap to spend. Not a lot of things we'd buy. Things we'd buy here, though, for sure. So much scrap, might as well. Um, so we're definitely buying that heavy laser. I mean, I guess I could go all beams and one shot build. I guess that is, there's an appeal to that, isn't there? Because that's one shot on all three phases also. Well, not phase three, obviously, but... It makes us entirely, like, hacking dependent, but that's not a big deal. I mean, I've definitely done done the all-in hacking. It's totally a viable strat when you have, like, a strong enough ship otherwise. Um, and I totally have the scrap to just, like, buy into it immediately if I want. Um, I'm trying to think... What? Because I just don't like doing it. Like, I'm just not a beam person if I can avoid it. I love heavy lasers. Um, it's like I'm going to crew kill and stuff anyway, right? It's kind of foolish not to crew kill phase one. Um, but there's something nice to just one shine the other phases. So if I'm going to buy this anyways, it's like the same as, like, this is the same either way. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's do it. They're all red. We're a red ship. Let's just be the red beam ship. Should be good. We're like about at the end of Sector 6 here. Could always go check if they have like a pre igniter too. Um, yeah, a free pre igniter too. That works. Um, just trying to think. 12 drum parts should be fine. I don't need to be that crazy. Or do I? No. We need, I mean, kind of need hacking level 3 a little bit to deal with 4 shields. Definitely kind of need power to, to run all this. Um, I guess that's actually a bigger worry to me, now that I think about it. Because it's like, we might not just have a great way to deal with it. Um, how many jobs do we have left? I can get three nebula jumps in, so I might just do that. I don't really need to go to that store with four scrap. And like, or bet that I get enough off of that store to like want to go there. Yeah. yeah, this is like a build I don't usually aim for. Some players really like going straight, like trying to make this kind of build happen. Um, it's not my preferred thing, but I'll use it when I fall into it or if it just feels like, you know, it's just kind of an easy choice there. I felt like. Um, so yeah, now it's definitely just like all shield tags. And cloaking weapons and stuff. She's only 85%. Not that surprised. 15% is pretty bad. It's because he's not trained at all, and then he's not manning it or whatever because of a fight. It doesn't really matter. Very dead ship. Extra dead. Oh 
like how those are like little hands. Yeah, totally. I could totally see that. Little grippy fingers, like kind of frog shaped a little bit. It's pretty good. Man, so I guess we're gonna I guess we are gonna go to a store. Um, but we'll take this one first. All right, so here's that four shields I was talking about. Also, another mind control cloaking edition ship. Although no, uh, whatever, clone ban this one. Also, man, super ion ship. also because the beams don't interrupt the cloak at all. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is enough damage to just kill you. Um, not sure. Can we get five with a pike? I don't think so. Doesn't matter. Oh, I don't think you're going to run. You can't surrender either. There's a store. It's really our only choice. And then we'll exit. Clone Bay. By Kevin Fish as a new pilot. I mean, there's value in that. It's totally not worthwhile. Um, like, we can just deal with mind control phase three. And they won't have a crew. Because we'll kill them phase one. Um, do I need anything else from you, Star? I'm not going to buy a clone bay. I still have 12 drone parts, because I just keep finding them at the same rate. So, whatever. Stay alive. So it can be empty exit beacon. So, like, looking, you know, we have sector 7 and 8. Um, really, alright. Easy choice. NG Homeworld so much better than Zone Control. Um, yeah, four shields, no, four shields, like buffer and cloaking, level three teleporter makes crew killing easier, phase one, some power, engines five maybe, and that's, you know, easy peasy flagship, like pretty much guaranteed. Um, I am going to call it for a night here though, like I could totally finish this, but then it's going to be like, I'm going to be rushing a little bit at the end if it takes longer than I want or something, and I don't want to, I don't want to be doing that. Um, so this is, I mean, pretty guaranteed win, but I'll probably pick it up. I'll probably pick it up like tomorrow night or something and just finish it off since it'll be quick. Um, and I doubt, I doubt I'll start another run that night. I'll just figure out what ship I have next and then pick up the next new ship, um, probably on Thursday. So yeah, you, you know, I'm not sure when it'll happen, but I'll probably, you know, finish this off, you know, take an hour or so. Um, I guess like around 10 Eastern time or so tomorrow. And then Thursday, you know, around uh, between 10 and 11 Eastern time, I'll probably be on with the next new ship. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks. I got a few new followers tonight. Oh, I got a couple more too. Thanks, Medic Only and LOL High Ground for following me also. Um, awesome. I really appreciate that. It's been fun streaming this game. And uh, check out my bio, my profile. I actually uh, got a Kickstarter going for my first book. Uh, I'm an artist. I have a shop with my wife, um, and uh, so we're just doing a, a kickstart for the printing run. It's like 75% funded already, 
and not even halfway done. So pretty excited to have that happen. Uh, you can see my website with my personal work and stuff on it too. And uh, 